I'm Jennifer Jackson. I'm a professor of mineral physics in the Seismological Laboratory at Caltech. Mineral physics involves understanding the atomic level properties of solids, liquids, as they pertain to Earth and planetary interiors. The Seismo Lab is a group of scientists that are interested in understanding how the Earth works, and that necessarily involves understanding the interior of the planet. One of these structures that I really want to understand is something called an ultra-low velocity zone. There are actually many of these on the base of the mantle that are covering the core mantle boundary surface. And these little patches slow down seismic waves by 10 to up to 50%. And it's still not clear what they're made of, why they are there. And this is something that I'm really passionate about understanding because it can ultimately connect the whole formation of the Earth. This is what is really exciting for me, is to understand the landscape at the core mantle boundary and understand what's responsible for it. So we have a good understanding about what the shallow portions of the Earth are made of. We can look at these geologic structures and infer that some of them have signatures of the Earth's mantle. And we can then take these rocks and look at their mineral assemblages. We can see that there are some minerals that are representative of the deeper parts of the mantle. We can then take those minerals and push them further into the earth using what are called diamond anvil cells. They involve using two diamonds and the minerals are placed in between these anvils that allows us to place a small amount of force on an even smaller area and this can then generate millions of times the pressure that we feel at the earth's surface and these are the pressures that these minerals are experiencing inside of the earth. These samples that we have to load into the cells are the size of a human hair. We squeeze them in between the two anvils, and we also take them to Argonne National Laboratory. There's a very brilliant source of x-rays there. This brilliant source of x-rays allows us to probe the minerals under their high pressures and high temperature conditions. And essentially, the diamond anvils act as windows. And so the x-rays can penetrate through the diamond anvils, and we can place detectors on the other side of the cell and measure properties like compressional wave velocity or the shear wave velocity. It's hard to put my finger on favorite aspect of what I do because it is all really exciting for me from the training students and postdocs in the lab to conducting the experiments to discussing them with my colleagues and trying to figure out what makes the earth tick.